All right, guys, I'm sorry if my eyes look watery. It's uh, not that I have tears of joy or anything like that. Uh, I just got uh, tears from pollen. Man, it's been rough this year, just crazy. Need some rain to kind of wash this stuff out of here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to be talking with you guys because this is a vlog I've been wanting to do for a long time. Got all the little pieces, parts together for you now. Uh, today in the vlog, we're gonna be talking about all season tires for your Corvette. I wanna give you some personal feedback and feelings on the all season tires. We're also gonna share a clip of the customer that just had the tires installed and show you his reaction right here at the dealership. And also too, we talked to a Michelin rep about those tires and Ricky learned something, and I'm gonna share that with you today on the vlog. Thanks for taking the time to check in. It's great to have you guys part of the channel. So the all-season tires have been available for quite some time now on Corvette Stingray, just of recent, available in Grand Sport, Z06, and ZR1. Let me give you my personal take on all-season tires. I order the inventory for the dealership, and if I had my choice, I would probably order eight out of 10 with all-season tires. Yes, I would. You know why? Because I know how you guys drive your car. Yes, we know it's a Corvette. We know it's a performance vehicle. We know it'll do this, this, and this, and this, and those are all great stats, but that's not how you folks drive your Corvette. And I know that, you know that. So at the end of the day, the all-season tire actually gives you a better level of performance than many of you didn't realize. Plus, it's gonna give you more comfort and it's gonna give you better grip, especially in those rain-type situations or a cooler situation. Let me give you a quick story here, okay? Just recently, I sold a 19 Grand Sport that has the enhancement to the magnetic ride, which is remarkable and does make the car ride much softer. But he had traded out of a 16 Stingray now going to the Grand Sport. Everybody's like, hey, I really like that wide body. I don't want to buy the Z06. I'm not going to use all that power, but I really, really like the look of that Grand Sport. So he got the Grand Sport and called me about a week after having the car. And shockingly, he says, Rick, I got I to gotta tell you, man. He goes, I just don't like the way this car rides. It's so different from my Stingray. Well, yes, in fact, it is. He goes, you know, what can I do? I said, well, Ron, you've already got the enhancement to the magnetic ride control. I mean, that is so much better than what it has been. Uh, and it is noticeable. If you've not had the update, drive a 17 or 18 and then drive a 19, oh my gosh, you'll, bam, just like that, you'll see the difference. So the suggestion I had for him, I said, well, the only thing I can tell you is why don't you install all season tires. I told him, I think you're gonna see that they're a softer ride. They're gonna give you better grip in the road. You drive your car as much as you possibly can. You're gonna be taking a trip across the country. You're gonna get caught in the rain. And when you're doing so, driving with those tires, you're gonna feel connected to the road. You're not gonna feel like this. You're just like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You gotta slow down just a little bit. It's like, whoa, wait a minute, this is, this is like real. Yeah, the all season tire gives you that confidence. So yes, it's a great comfort level, but I think it's an additional safety level for a lot of you for the way that you drive your car. So if you're just watching this vlog, you've not been to the seminars at the Bash event at the National Corvette Museum, you're probably saying to yourself, okay, those are great points, Rick, but how come Chevy doesn't allow you to order the all season tire on the Corvette? Well, it's not going to happen, guys. It's just not going to happen. Uh, they've told us time and time again, we're going to put the tires, because these tires are engineered for Corvette. I think that's what's fantastic. It's not like we're taking a tire from another vehicle and we're just putting it on the car. These tires are specifically engineered for Corvette. And Chevrolet says, we're going to put the tires on the car to handle the capabilities for which we've designed it. So you've got to appreciate that from a performance car level. Beyond that, yeah, you got to get your checkbook out and you've got to invest in yourself and invest in the way that you're driving the car. Now, you're not going to get a credit on the standard tires. You've got a brand new car and you take those tires off and you want to send them back to Michelin. You're not going to get a credit, but there's somebody out there that'll buy those tires. So that'll help offset that cost of the all season tires. And I know Michelin's watching this right now. They watch a lot of our vlogs and I do appreciate that. Guys, I've sold dozens and dozens, direct and indirectly, dozens of all season tires in the last year help me out a little bit here, help out our audience, and throw me a set of those all-season tires that we can give away in the vlog. That would be awesome. <laughs> How about putting the guys on the spot, huh? Hey, if that happens, I'll definitely let you know. And Michelin, thank you for that consideration. Now, here's the other thing I like about those all-season tires, besides the comfortable ride and the better handling on the road in all conditions. When you pull that car out, even if it's an 80-degree day, say your garage is cold, it's sitting on cool concrete, and your regular Corvette tires, what happens when you pull it out and you're turning the wheel at slow speeds, especially the big cars, the Grand Sport Z06 and ZR1s, 
you get the tire skipping. What is that? What is that? It's driving me crazy. So it, it can still be warm outside, but if you're coming out of a cold concrete, cold air environment conditions, or you're just driving in cool conditions, and you're making that slow speed turn, you feel that tire skip, and it just drives you nuts. And if I forget to tell you guys that, people flip. They're like, hey, man, uh, there's something wrong with my car right now. I just made a turn. I I know exactly what you're going through. I apologize. I forgot to tell you about that. So when you're in the all-season tires, you don't have that. It alleviates all that. It's zero degrees, 100 degrees, in the street, on the truck on the track. Yes, you can drive those all-season tires on the track. We'll be talking to the Michelin rep here in just a bit on this vlog. So my excitement for the Michelin all-season AS3 run flat tire for Corvette is genuine. You know why? Because I know what it's gonna do for you folks. Level of comfort, better handling, you're gonna have more confidence behind the wheel, you're gonna feel safer behind the wheel. So rather than buying those air boxes and all that kind of stuff right away, invest in yourself as we said earlier. The accessory you need to get right away is the all-season tire. Just recently, one of our customers, John, right here in Ohio, owns a Z06 with a Z07 package. It was definitely time to get rid of those cup tube tires. He installed the all-season tires. Was he surprised? Absolutely. Should have done it sooner. Okay, so today on the vlog, we're talking about all season tires for Corvettes. And I told you, as the weather starts to break a little bit, we get to see some of our local clients. Excited that John's here with us. Hey, John, what's happening? He's bought a few vets from us. Okay. Fantastic. Now, don't let the sun fool you again, because it's what? Still in the 30s right now, isn't it? Yeah. I think, I mean, it's, it's still really cold. I got my gloves yeah. on. And I don't have my earmuffs on, but for this purpose of the video, you need to know that it's it's cold. And John just had these beautiful all-season tires installed. And what we're going to do real quick, we're going to take a real fast drive because I know your wife's in there waiting. But uh, we're uh, just going to get your reaction. I want to get your reaction on how they feel because you, do you have one in the trunk right now? Yeah. All right, let's see that. So this is a Z07, Z06. How many miles did you get out of those, by the way? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen. So that's what's left. It's, yeah, I mean, there's just not much there. And you'd like to go to a lot of shows. Yeah. And when you're out at these shows, you can't control Mother Nature. And I know a couple of times you've went down to Kentucky and you've got caught in some rain and stuff like that. Those are no fun in the rain. No, <laughs> I mean, no. Not at all, man. <laughs> not at all. So you've been watching the channel and you took our advice yeah. about getting all season tires. And I'm excited to see your reaction. And I know that the way that you drive this car, yes, it's a Z07. Yes, it's a badass car. It's a fast car. But you don't drive it like that. No. It's just a pride of ownership. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. No. That's great. But now these tires are going to help you feel a little bit more confident. I think you're going to feel a lot more safer. Uh, you're going to feel that ground contact with the tire. So let's take it out real quick okay. and just uh, just tell the people, you know, hey, you've been on the channel before. So nice and easy. Just keep it real. Tell me exactly what you think. If you hate them, we'll take them back off. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not the case. Yeah. All right. Already you should have felt some of that and you're not, are you? Uh, yeah, it's real nice. Smoother. I mean, that's one of the things in these cars that I, you know, I tell people is to be cautious when they're in those performance tires. You know, even the standard Z06 tire is one that you have to be aware of. Because the red car you had, had the regular Z06 tire, wasn't the Z07 yeah, tire. Yeah. I'm sure that still got a little little squirrely Hell yeah. from time to time. You know, it's perfect on a day like today, you know, we had some rain over the weekend, it got all the salt off the roads, it's a cool morning in the 30s and dry. Normally you wouldn't drive your Corvette, but with these tires, yeah. now, you, now you can. What do you think so far? Oh, I really love them. <laughs> yeah. You know, this tire, I think, makes more sense for the majority of the people that own Corvette. I don't care, you know, right up to ZR1. Yeah. Uh, you know, this tire is a safer tire, more comfortable riding tire. Oh, yeah, it feels nice, <laughs> real nice. Nice and soft. Yeah. nice about these tires too <laughs> you're definitely gonna get a lot more than 1400 miles out of them oh yeah <laughs> heck yeah yeah now 
Now, as I said earlier, I wanted to share something with you that I learned about the Michelin all-season AS3 tires. We talked about the performance nature of Corvette. Let's face it, how many of you actually do real racing, real competition racing? One, two percent? Okay, there might be up to 10% of you that do one or two track days, but you're not going crazy. It's not a competition thing. You don't have roll cages and all that kind of stuff going on, but you go on the track and like to play around a little bit. Well, here's what I didn't realize. With the all-season tire, you can do that. Here's our conversation with one of the Michelin reps about that topic and about the all-season tire. Just talking about all-season tires all the time of this vlog is really a thrill for me because they're great tires for how most of you drive your car. You're buying a, a car that has incredible capabilities. It is a race car for all intents and purposes, but none of you race your cars. So I tell you, rather than worry about when it's cool and you turn the wheel and you get that chippity chop, that tire skipping, go to the all season tires that Michelin provides. Now finally available for Grand Sport and Z06. Jeff has been so kind. He watches the vlog uh, and, uh, and it's good to have you on the vlog. It's good to be on. But you're with Michelin, so that's one of the reasons you're on the vlog, but it's <laughs> awesome. But I, he came up to me earlier and he goes, Rick, I watched the vlog. I said, hey, oh, you're with Michelin. I'll be back to talk to you. But I was just really, really pumped to do that. And I am a fan of all season tires. You guys make it a remarkable tire. And I tell most of my customers, it's unfortunate when they're buying a new Z07 car off the lot, they're not getting a credit for that tire. So they'll sell them on the side because they're never going to take sure. that, that Cup 2 tire. They're never going to use it. Plenty of folks tracking them. Mo them. Most, of my, <laughs> most of my folks would hurt themselves in that thing. So I'm like, get the all seasons. Sure. you know. And I know that that... The factory tire has its limitations as far as temperature. It says, sure. you know, it's summer only tires as it states on the window sticker. It says in the owner's manual. And remember, we talked about this. It says frequent driving, not to drive the car under 40 degrees. Yes, it that so, is our recommendation. And, and, and I mean, you can, but I mean, you got to be careful. You're worried about slippage and things like sure, that. Sure, especially when it's wet, too. So you oh, get the cold absolutely. and wet, and those compounds really just were made, designed to be in those operating conditions. So right. It's really the, really the reason we put out the all season tire to give a, a much broader operating window. Mm -hmm. All season tires have come a long way from what they were in years past as oh, far man. as performance envelope and what they can do. We've yeah. even got guys throwing them on their ZR1 and hitting track days with them. It's, uh, it's well, that's what I was going to gonna ask you. You just blew my mind before we turned the <laughs> camera. My mind, on. Honestly. I'm like, dude, we got to talk about because many times I tell you guys, okay, you're going to do all season tires, but you're going to be limited in what you can do in the car. And apparently, I was a little wrong in that because it is a it is a softer compound. It just you feel like you're sitting on new pillows, you know, new shoes on there. I mean, it's just amazing how great they are. And when you're cold and you're pulling out of the driveway or it's a cool afternoon, you don't get that tire skipping. The cars to handle wonderful. So what are the limitations there as far as temperature that sure. you would say not to drive? So all season tires opens it up. They've got snow capability in the all season tire. Wow. So winter performance, that's the bang for the buck. Okay. You also get an improved uh, tread life. And uh, in wet performance, you get a more tread depth with the tire. Yes. Now we'll say it's not going to provide the same traction and handling capabilities that the Pilot Super Sport, the OE tires have. Yeah. It's the trade-off to get the all-season performance back out of it in that broader operating window. Right. So that's kind of a, really the trade-off there is wear life, grip, and then all-season sorts of performance. That you well, and I always thought when you went to all-season that that would all of a sudden take out if you wanted to do like a weekend track day. But you're telling me you can take We've it out We've had customers track. go out and track all season tires and yeah. ZR1s. So, oh my gosh. Uh, now don't get me wrong, the lap times aren't there. So if you're sure. interested in lap times, look at our cups or the Pilot Super Sports. But if you're driving these across the country, go hit the track. Yeah, so if a, so if a client puts one on and they want to do, sometimes they do a track sure. event, but you're not doing competition driving. Right. It's not high, high speed, then guys, Guys, I'm telling you, you're okay to do that. You know how sometimes you kind of hang out with a club and you do a little thing? Hey, you might fart around up around 100, 125. That's cool. These tires, these tires can handle it. They really are. And, and the all season tires are really designed around Corvette. We have a Corvette down at our track. Yeah. Spend a lot of time doing handling on them, making sure they're well suited for it. And uh should be a good experience to give that more all around broad perspective. Now I know people watching this vlog right now, they're like, okay, great. Well, if you're such a big fan of the all season tires, and I have more broad ability as far as the user friendliness of the tire. And it's not your decision, it's, sure. it's Corvette's decision. Why can't we order the car with these tires on it? And I wish that we could, but when we talk to the guys like Taj and some of the engineers, he said, here, we're going to put the tires that handle the capabilities of the car for which we designed it and engineered it. If right. you want to do anything beyond that, 
get your checkbook out. It's it's up it's up to yes. you. But it's money well spent in my opinion. It really I is. think it is a good tire for the car. And we try to offer it with a bunch of different products. You know, the Super Sport is great. It's all around summer performance, yep. great handling. Yep. If you care to step back a little bit from that handling, you get a little more all uh, weather. All season got you covered. And if you're hardcore at the track, check out the Cup 2s. They're uh, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> they are unbelievable. That's crazy. And what kind of tire wear? You said extended life on these because you got a little bit better, better have, deeper tread. They do have uh, more tread life than our Pilot Super Sports. And Estimate honestly, you think would be so mileage depending on, on driving. Sports, on the OE, I've had people all weekend come up from, it's all on the right foot now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> right. I've come up from 10,000 to 30,000 plus miles on those. Right. And these should last a good bit longer than those for wow. uh, normal driving there. That's so incredible. it should be a, a good bump in and tread light performance. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, Absolutely. I know some people watching this right now. Yes, get off the couch, get off in front of the computer, go buy some tires worth every penny. You guys are going to feel it immediately, especially those that are driving some of the 19 models that have the enhanced uh, magnetic ride control. Yeah. Put that together with the all-season tires, and I had one of my clients on here before. He loves them. I know you folks watching right now, you're going to love it. I appreciate Jeff taking time to talk with us from Michelin. They're doing a great job, and uh, looks like you guys can be around with Corvette for a long, long time. We're going to do our best. It's been a blast. I really appreciate Michelin taking the time to talk with us, and after learning about the all-season tires and the ability to actually go on track well I'm an even bigger fan now how about you guys oh it's important to note guys don't confuse the all-season tire with the winter tire Michelin does make a winter tire for Corvette but that is temperature sensitive all-season tire cold warm hot you're good to go well guys thanks for watching our vlog on all-season tires from Michelin for your Corvette I hope it was informative. I hope it was entertaining. It's probably got a lot of you scratching your head right now. Absolutely. Michelin, if you're still watching, um, you can send those all-season tires for giveaway on the vlog to Rick Conti, care of Coughlin Chevrolet 9000 East Broad Street, Pataskalo, Ohio 43062. <laughs> hey, you can't get something unless you ask for it, right? Okay. <laughs> I, hey, throwing it out there, putting them on the spot. Regardless, I think we've given you some good information today that will help you down the road if you install these tires. If you do, please let us know. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so coming up on our next vlog, we're going to be talking about allocation, what that means to the dealership, what it means to you as a consumer. We'll be talking about C8 Corvette, the 2020 mid-engine car. Why? Well, we got to start taking those pre-order deposits. That's coming very soon because the car is coming sooner than you think. Stay tuned.